it's made up of hundreds and hundreds of um, metres of string creating lots and lots of grids and then a projection actually of itself is projected back onto the, the structure. It confuses the eye, it confuses kind of depth perception specifically. So you're never quite sure how big it is and how far back it goes. The idea was to create something which was kind of on the tipping point for perception as in where there's just enough information for the viewer to understand what they're looking at because the idea is that should be the most interesting place because the mind is continually searching for, for resolution in what it's looking for. All the strings um, become in a way a screen and so because it's an entirely fragmented three-dimensional screen of course you only see the film where it's on the strings and the strings cast shadows on each other. That's why you get this very, a very kind of warped illusion of space. A lot of art is about illusion. We're kind of always trying to play tricks on the brain in a way as artists. And I think for science it tells us an awful lot about perception, it tells us an awful lot about what we can see and why we see the things in the way that we do.